are you talking to? Well, who are you talking to, sweetheart? Oh my, where's Mr. Peaches? Is he inside asleep? Mia, you need to go wake up Mr. Peaches. Tell him to get his big behind out here. <laughs> I think my plan is working. <laughs> They're doing it. They are doing it. <laughs> okay. We're rounding out 2020 here <laughs> with something really good happening. If you see what we did night before last, which could be considered disastrous in my mind. It didn't go the way that I planned, but you know what? Man plans, God laughs. Here's the deal. So here's the basic rundown of what's happening over here in the corner of the Silky Chalet. The other day, I noticed that one of my girls looked like she might be kind of going broody. You know, sometimes it takes us a day or two. It's, you gotta have a V8 moment to figure out what in the heck's going on. So I collected eggs, but I noticed that this little old thing over here in the corner, you can barely see her. I'll show her here in a minute. I thought, is she going broody? Well, the funny thing is, and God works in mysterious ways, is I had already told James, I said, you know, I am thinking that maybe, maybe mama needs some more baby chicks. What you think? So here's the gist. We need baby chicks on the farm. We need an ongoing thing of baby chicks going around the year because I sell eggs. Selling eggs is a form of income for our farm. So we didn't get any new baby chicks this year because things were crazy, as you know already enough, and then we moved. So I kind of held off. Well, that might have been a mistake on my part, but we live and learn. But here's the deal. Do I wait until January 1st? I don't want to, but I really don't want to have brooders in the house, you know, with baby chicks in it during the holidays. That's kind of silly to some people. I'll do what I have to, but if I can wait, maybe that's better. But then again, I don't know if I want to mess with babies in a brooder if it's super, super cold either, because you have to change a lot of things, at least I do, when you have really cold weather out. And you know what? Winter is coming. But can my silkies change this scenario for me? So I know you're already thinking, <laughs> she's gonna be making a lot of brownies for James. Yes, and do you know why? Because he came to the conclusion. Remember in my big fat Greek wedding when she said, <laughs> the man may be the head of the household, but the woman is the neck and she can turn the head any which way she wants. Guess what conclusion he came up with when I said, <gasps> I may have a broody silky in the silky chalet. And he said, isn't that why we have silkies? And I said, why, yes, dear, it is. <laughs> so, night before last, we decided to let this silky, or is it this silky? It's this silky. <laughs> Miss Roxette, I named her Roxette, you know, the 90s, the group, we loved Roxette. And so I named her Roxette because she's got a little bit of a, they got a little bit of a punk rock do going on right now. I like it. And she was already on eggs. So James and I decided that we would try to move her. That was a fail. She likes this area. My silkies love this area. And I thought, okay, this is not going to work. So we tried to move her. We ended up moving her back. Now we have another broody. Check it out. So here's the thing that you need to know. A lot of times, not always, but in my experience, I don't always just have one broody silky. 
when one goes broody, most occasion. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. Oh, okay. See, <laughs> so you don't just end up having one. They have this thing, this girl bond, this Broodyville bond. Now we have two. So I ended up setting Miss Roxette. I gave her, she ended up keeping, I believe it's eight of her silky eggs that I did mark. You know, I mark my eggs. I do a little marking with permanent marker because it stays. We've had this conversation before. Now we have a little baby girl adding on to the Broodyville. So you know what? I can add more eggs. So the other night I quickly marked my eggs just really fast and furious with a little marking in here. It was really dark and we were trying to move fast with permanent marker. That's how I know that the original eggs with the original dates, the starting point, which ones those are. And I use permanent marker. You do what works best for you. But the reason I do that is I'm telling you after 15 to 20 days of turning and turning and turning eggs and keeping these eggs incubated, most things, most markings rub off. So I go with a little bit of permanent marker because it stays the longest. So tonight, oh, sorry, baby. I'm going to count up the eggs. I'm going to see how many we have and probably add more. Okay, children, I'm gonna get you, hi babies. Hi babies, how's my babies doing? I'm gonna get you a new water. You spilled it and drank it all. Yes, you did, yes, you did. So if this sticks, it's gonna be a win-win for everybody. Silkies need a job. Just like you need a job, I need a job. You know, your livestock guardian dog needs a job. Your cat even needs a job. It's called lazy, but still, he might be a good mouser. <laughs> My point is, is I have broodies. They're gonna successfully and hopefully and successfully speak it into existence, hatch babies. But the thing is, is I'm not just doing a few silkies. I'm going to add other eggs from my other coop, from my Buff Orpingtons and from my Whiting True Blues and other good layers. So the new girl, we're going to see how she does later. And I'm going to add more eggs, probably only five or six because she's kind of small. So that will be good. But you know what? If they hatch the babies, they will raise the babies and I won't have a brooder in the basement. So this is why I tell you the most productive thing on your farm, the most important thing to have on your homestead, and one of the easiest things to have on any homestead is a few chickens. They are wonderful companions, beautiful to learn from, especially for, for children. They give you fantastic eggs. It's a food supply for you in case you need it or choose to, however you choose to do that. But... Beyond that, and I've said this before in a video, the number one thing on your farm is not only a chicken, but it is ones or breeds that go broody and nothing beats the silkies. So we'll keep you posted on how this goes. I'm gonna go through my eggs that I have collected from my other hens that I've gotten in the past couple of days. Really fresh. When you set eggs, you want them to be set within the first seven days or so that they were laid. So I've got eggs to select. Looks like they're on the job. We'll see how it goes. We'll keep you posted. Y'all stay safe out there and we'll see you on the next video.